Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Susilowati. I'm an excellent Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience. After years of using Power BI to create dashboards and charts using data that directly came from our data warehouse tables, tabular model, or Excel files, I was so delighted when I discovered a way to add a table in Power BI by simply typing it manually. And then I got frustrated when trying to add new rows. I searched everywhere and I couldn't find an obvious place where I can simply type in a new row or a new column. Until recently, I finally found a way to add a new row and a new column in Power BI by manually typing the information in the most unusual place. No wonder I couldn't find it previously. Regardless, I'm so happy and super excited to share my new learnings to all of you. I want to show you how we can create a new table in Power BI by typing them. Click Enter Data, and you can literally type. I'm going to type apple, banana, and grapes. That's my first column, and I'm going to double-click the column name and type fruit. And then after that, I'm going to add another column, volume sold. And I'm going to pretend we sold 100 kilo of apple, 200 kilo of banana, and 300 kilo of grapes. And then you can enter the table name in here, say data, and hit load. Wait for a sec, and boom, we're done. We've got the data table there, and let's just test it. Click table, and just drag the columns. And voila, nicely created. When you click the build name, these column tools appear, and you can check the data type, the formatting, just to make sure that the Power BI has format your information correctly. So that's wonderful. Now we can use it to create charts. So you can just click charts and all done. This is how you can add a new row. Let's say I want to modify my table and add one more row. How do I do that? Simple, click transform data and then the Power Query Editor will pop up, go to Source Settings, and click that, and just hit Insert Roy. I'm going to type Durian, Volume Sold, 50 kilo. hit OK, and then click Close and Apply, and watch this. We've got Durian over there, awesome. And this is how you can add a new column. Now, how about if I want to add another column? Same step, hit transform data, and then go to source, and click another column, let's say price. And enter the price, let's say $2, $3, $4, and $10 per kilo, and then hit OK. Close and apply. And watch this, price has appeared over there. Just click it and check the data type. At the moment, the default is text. I want to change that into decimal. Hit yes. And let's check that. We can create a table. Let's see if everything is showing properly. Yes, it is. And we can also use that to create another chart. Let's say a bar chart, fruit and price. Voila, all done. Now we have our neat Power BI reports done manually by typing them ourselves. Hope you find this video useful and all the best in your Power BI learning journey and see you next time.